Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I would like to share with you top 3 extension in VS Code that you should be using as a Flutter developer. If you are using any of them right now, please do give the video a like as a support. In order to add extension to VS Code, we have to first install the extension in Marketplace. So in the navigation reel, you can see there is an icon for extension marketplace. So the first extension that I would like to share is material icon theme. And this extension is published by Philip Keith. And you can install this extension directly from here, which I have already installed. So if you wonder what does this extension do, it actually adds a material icon according to the extension of the file that you have created in VS Code. For example, here I create a new file called sample.dart. So as you can see, there is a dart material icon in front of the sample file. Not only that, if we create a sample.js file, it will show a JavaScript material icon in front. The material icon depends on the file extension. So if it's a TypeScript file, it will show a TypeScript icon. So you can differentiate JavaScript and TypeScript file easily by just looking at the material icon. This extension supports variety of file extension. For example, you can add a JSON file as well. And the biggest advantage of this extension is, for example, when you have a very long file name, and the tab bar actually blocks your file extension. In this case, with this material icon extension, you can easily identify the extension type of this file. You can notice that this is a Dart file from the material icon. So this is all about the first extension. The second extension that I would like to introduce is called Block. And this Block extension is published by Felix Angelov. In Flutter development, block is one of the most popular design pattern that comes with a state management library. If you're familiar with block design pattern, you should know that it comes with a block file, an event file, and a state file. Create them manually will be a hassle. By using this extension, you can easily create the required files by just right-clicking on the required directory and you can see a block selection. Once you click on the new block, you are required to provide a name for the block file. Once we press enter, a block folder is created and inside the block folder, there is the required three files. And each file will have its skeleton created. We just have to focus on the implementation. And believe me, this extension will save lots of your time if you are using block in your project. And this is all about block extension. The last extension that I would like to introduce you is called SVG Viewer. When you are working on your personal project, most of your images comes in JPG or PNG formats. However, when you work with a UI UX developer or a UI designer, you will find out that they actually prefer to pass SVG format images to you. And this is the SVG Viewer extension that is published by CSS Ho. So here I have prepared a sample SVG file. Whenever you click into a SVG file, you will only see the XML code. It's nearly impossible to know what is this image represent. With this SVG Viewer extension, you can easily right click on the SVG file and click on View SVG and it will show you the images or icons represented by this SVG file. And this is all about SVG Viewer extension. If you are using any of this extension in VS Code, make sure you like this video. And if you have any recommended extension that helps on your development that you would like to share, feel free to comment below. Here comes to the end of this sharing. If you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next session.